Okay, blues games with uh, metronome. It's certainly doing without metronome. There's several uh, influences that lead to this presentation. That should really be quiet for some, shouldn't it? One is the simple idea that there's four steps of learning. Um, unconscious incompetence. You don't even know what you don't know. And then conscious incompetence. You realize there's something you need to know or do that you don't quite have yet. Then conscious... <laughs> What's the next one? I know the final one is unconscious. No, okay, the third one is conscious competence where you're doing something and you know you're doing it right, but you have to think about it. And then fourth level, unconscious competence. You just flow and groove and at a high level and you don't even have to think about it. So that's in there. And also the idea of quick little 30 to 45 second games. I specifically got that notion of games from several hours I spent with Tamir Hendelman in Los Angeles uh, about three years ago for some great lessons. So all of that said, this is all about how to learn to play the blues on the piano with both hands. And we're going to limit ourselves to the key of C for right now. And we're going to limit ourselves to this tempo of about, uh, let's say, 144 beats a minute. I don't know, really. I don't really know why I'm doing this with metronome, except to prove that um, <laughs> I can keep a steady beat, and so can I can keep a steady beat, and so can you. Now, your left hand, I think, at first for this first game, should just do an open fifth of like C and G, like this. And go ahead, and we're going to do a lot of presets, like we set up the rules of the game, then we play the game. Then we either win or lose, then the game's over, and we rest. All that's coming. The first preset is the left hand is whole notes. One, two, three, four, one, two. And the right hand, let's say for our first round, first game, it's whole notes of the C blue scale. is you want to enjoy the sounds you're making. You don't want to practice being critical of yourself in any way at this time. You want to be objective but not critical while you're playing. You want to enjoy these games. So a win is defined as whatever, however we set it up. Now I'm going to do quarter notes in the right hand. Same set of notes. Same left hand accompaniment. That's a good point right there. I really didn't listen to the metronome before I started playing, but I really should. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That was a really short game. I won. I did it. Let me give you an example of failing the, the game. So the game is left hand whole notes. Right hand quarter notes of the C blues scale. Now, I've been doing up and down, it doesn't have to be that. But I'm gonna fail on purpose this time and then tell you why I failed. I'm gonna lose. See, I lost that game because I started getting carried away with a cool idea instead of sticking to the game, the rules, the rules. Now, my game is eighth notes only. One and two, and straight eighths, not swing in this case. One and two and three. Quit while I'm ahead. I totally won. Now let me change the game slightly. 
I want to do eighth notes, but this time leaving space and rests between phrases like this. starting every right hand phrase on one. Now I'm going to start on two. One, two, and three. Now there I actually fail, see, because I started a phrase on one. So the idea is you gain control of your vehicle as you do these games. Uh, that's probably enough information right now. You can take that and run with it. See if it works. See if it helps you. I'll do one final game without the click, I guess. Now the game is so simple. I can start on any beat, like any one, two, three, four, or the and of one. But it has to be quarter notes and eighth notes and rests. And I'm going to give the left hand a little more work to do of every beat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And I'm going to slow down. A one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And I'm doing swing eights. I think I've told you all the rules now. such a winner here. I had an impulse to throw some triplets in there, but I didn't because I wanted to stick to the game. I hope that makes some sense, and I hope it sounds like something that will help you get control of, of doing what you intend to do. One final game, only triplets. Da, da, da. 